And for us to be able to write um, a scientific report or an, or an original article, we actually have to start uh, with the dissection of a scientific report. So ano ba yung critical part? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung basic structure of a scientific report? Ano ba yung um, critical elements that should actually, uh, critical parts that should be present in there? And then um, it doesn't stop there. So pag nalaman yun, okay, this is an introduction. This is uh, the results section. This is the materials and methods. This is your discussion. Um, it doesn't end there, ano po? Kasi yung isa po, ko pong na-observe, um, reviewing write-ups of high school and Filipino uh, college students in, in the Philippines, um, since wala din po talagang basic training sa atin sa writing, ano po, minsan po, they just populate those sections just for the heck. Medyo aimless po yung paglalagay ng information. Uh, so yung po, hopefully, yung mabago natin dito, ano? Tuturo po natin sa inyo um, how all how the how these individual parts of a scientific uh, paper, if you if you get to write them the most effective way, um, the sum of it all will will actually result in a fairly compelling story. So essentially, yun naman po kasi in, in layman's terms, kahit po tawagin niya yung scientific article, nagkukwento po kayo dyan. And paano ba kayo magawa ng, um, paano ba kayo magkwento in such a way na uh, you will not, hindi nyo lang po nasusulat kung ano yung, natutu, yung natutunan nyo or yung data na nag-gather nyo, but then you're actually educating your readers. And dito na po papasok, what critical information do you actually need to provide to write up a compelling scientific report? Okay, so ito yung basic structure. So this is like the yung anatomy or framework of uh, a scientific scientific article or of an original article. So kahit po um, magbasa kayo ng siguro mga isang daang um, uh, original articles, um, ito po usually ang sections na present. So the first of which is the abstract followed by um, some of uh, the basic components um, represented by the acronym MRAD. So MRAD, I stands for introduction, M for methods, R for results, A and it lang. <laughs> and then D for discussion. And then MRAD is usually followed by a conclusion section. Um, and then optionally, some researchers include, you know, features and um, uh, yung references naman po hindi siya optional kasi it's actually one of the prime requirements whenever uh, you are writing up a um, scientific report. Okay. So I nilista po natin yan. But ano po yung purpose ng mga sections na yan? So yung abstract, first and foremost, provides an overview of your study. Introduction naman, it focuses on the research question. So para po sa ating mga guru at sa mga estudyante, hindi kayo nagsusulat ng introduction para lang meron kayong madagdag na words sa scientific report. May rason yan. So ultimately, your introduction give emphasis or should actually uh, present to your readers why you are doing or like what, what you the type the questions that you're trying to answer methods naman is the study approach so okay meron kang meron kang tanong na gusto sagutin how do you get to the answer ano ba yung mga kaila ano ba kayo yung mga ginawa nyo para makakuha kayo ng sagot results naman is about findings so after you performed your experiments after you performed all the processes necessary um ano ba yung mga natutunan nyo ano ba yung data na nakuha nyo and then, you know, every time you perform an experiment, you gather data, it doesn't end there. You have to interpret. You know, you have to make sense of um, numbers or observations that you gathered. So dito napapasok yung interpretation of your findings. So from data, it becomes information. So doon na yun papasok sa discussion section. And then lastly, conclusions, you know, it's ha highlight highlighting and summarization of all your learnings. And then future work, it's about recommendation. So how do you actually improve upon you know, the, the learnings from this study? So for if, if every readers in you, again, gusto nila mag follow up study, how can they improve you know, what you have uh, come up with? Okay, and then as early as now, um, again, bago po tayo po dumako doon sa pagsusulat ng, ng, ng MRAD, for example, I would like to emphasize the fact that Yung pagsusulat nyo lang po, nang basta-basta na, okay, um, I am investigating this without 
contextualizing or you know substantiating your statements medyo ano po laylayan yan hindi po hindi po siya engaging basahin so more likely kapag hindi po impactful ang inyong pagkakasulat kapag walang masyadong substance kapag walang masyadong laman ng inyong mga statements um usually po hindi yan babasahin ng ng mga ng mga tao ng ng inyong reader so how do you actually strengthen your message you know yung yung pong concepts or information that you are um highlighting in all of these sections, pwede po yung i-boost with information that you get from uh, the review of literature. Ang gusto ko pong sabihin sa inyo, pag magsusulat kayo na introduction, kailangan nyo rin mag-review ng literature kasi kailangan nyo dagdagan yung inyong mga statements ng basehan. Okay, for example, I'm trying to answer this research question, yung review of literature po, it'll enable you to establish bakit bakit po ba gusto yung tanong? Ba, bakit po ba gusto ang sagutin yung tanong na yan? Ano bang kahalagahan ng tanong na yan? Okay. But sa methodology, study approach, bakit po pinili yung method na yan? Ikaw ba, inimbento mo ba yan on your own? At kung hindi mo inimbento yan, bakit ka confident na gamitin yan? So kukunin nyo na naman po yun doon sa review of literature. Sa so results naman po, okay, so sometimes, uh, ito nilagay ko kailangan ng review of literature, but then typically, uh, we usually infuse the review of literature uh, kapag po ang results at discussions ay combined. Kasi meron pong formats or forms ng scientific um, articles wherein uh, your results and discussions are actually combined into one section but it is, but uh, it is also very important sometimes well, it's uh, it's important for you to highlight okay if you're using a statistical method to process your data uh, sometimes you ha also have to mention okay ano ba yung mga references ano ba nakuha yun? and then lastly and most importantly when it comes to your discussion um, when you interpret your data and you try to extend it over and relate it to say for example a fundamental science concept Paano mo gagawin yun kung wala, kang, kung wala kang review of related literature, kung wala kang basihan? Hindi naman po pwede yung sabihin na I feel like or siguro. Uh, medyo kapag, kapag gano'n yung pagkakasulat ninyo ng inyong statement sa scientific article, it's, it's a weak statement. Hindi po yan paniniwalaan ng mga magbabasa. So again, an effective review of related literature is something that you should be exercising when you are writing all of these sections. Okay.